glad to have you on board for our interview, sir. Uh, so, I'll start with the first question. What originally made you want to study architecture and become an architect? Study architecture. Actually, my father was also an architect. Right? So, when I was a kid, as a kid, I used to see his work and that's what fascinated me very much. And then I used to use his color pencils and all that. So, I mean, that's where it started. I think at the age of five, I had decided that I should be an architect. Right? So, since then, uh, I mean, and that's why when I completed my architectural course, I didn't join anywhere and started my own practice. That's okay. The next question is, sir, what particular aspects of your background and upbringing has shaped your design principles and philosophies? What comes into your mind and what is, you know, whatever you values and whatever the kind of culture and all that you see in your formative years, that is what normally influences one's maybe design or even his whole, uh, his whole character or his, I would say that, I mean, what are the values we get from our parents, whatever. I mean, what have we seen is in, in, in my whole life as people have been doing things in a particular way. So that is what gives you that, okay, if this was not done in this way, it could have been done in this way to be better. Not only in terms of spaces, but even in terms of functions and all everything. So they influence your work quite a lot. What stint of studying at uh, Chandigarh, so there, that architectural style of Chandigarh also influenced my work initially, very initially. But then it changed quite a lot. So as you move ahead, things do change and you, know, you cannot just say that is one design principle I follow. My next question is, sir, how would you describe your design approach? Uh, I cannot describe it in such a very simple word because, see, we don't do only one kind of building design. Yes. We are involved into nearly all facets of architecture, be it uh, all commercial or uh, institutional development, to hospitality, to housing, to metro, the railway station. So there cannot be one principle. It is basically, but my main thing is function driven. Function and sustainability, these are the two major things. Uh, what I would say is that I believe in form follows function. So that kind of a, you can say, is my design principle. I'm not a form-driven architect, but I'm more of a function-driven architect. Right, that's nice. Okay. Since you have done so many mega projects across different sectors, what is your take on the Indian steel construction industry? Indian steel industry? Look, I had started my career basically by doing industrial buildings. I said the form follows function. I mean, that is, you know, when you work for industrial project, you get very much involved into the basic function and basic, uh, you know, relationship between different parts of the project, right? So, as far as that is concerned and using steel, I've been using steel for a very long time now. We did a lot of structures in steel. Uh, pre engineering came much later than when I started uh, my career. We used to do all site works uh, at that time. But uh, I think uh, steel has a great future. I mean, I mean, it's only basically because earlier I think probably we were not getting the right quality of steel which we could see being used internationally. But now I think we have most of the products are available in India. And most of the buildings, earlier it only the steel was limited to industries. But now I think all kinds of projects are being done in steel. Even even office complexes, even, even thinking in terms of commercial projects, we're thinking in terms of uh, housing projects also to be done in steel. Because nowadays what has happened is because the speed of construction has become very, very important. So that is where there is a great future for steel. Only thing is that the cost, still the cost of execution is a little higher. So that has to be, you know, once it becomes competitive, I think, I mean, more and more buildings will be done in steel. Uh, so how have uh, technological advancement influenced your work? 
Yeah, quite a lot. The technical advantage in the benefit that these uh, pre engineered buildings came in, now that higher grades of steel are available, even a um, lot of companies are preparing high edge beams, what we call as edge beams and all that. So that is the use. In, and then this now with the coming in of light gauge steel structures and all that. So even the wall cladding and everything is becoming very easy in steel buildings. So that connection then obviously becomes much simpler and you know you can really now make a building and then totally clad it into these light gates, uh, uh, light gate uh, steel structures and then you can you, nobody knows even that it's a steel building or not. You can totally with all the ceiling and all that you can cover it up. Still in residential sector, there is still limited use of steel. Only in the mass housing or something like that, steel is used. My next question is, what does sustainability mean today? Sustainability, I would say sustainability to me means, one is that how responsive is this design to the site and site contest. In this, uh, when I say site contest, it's not only the contours and all that, but even that wind and sun has been taken care of not. Because that is the first thing. I think we would like to do that, lighting, how the natural light is flowing into the building and things like that. And then, of course, the use of materials. Then come the use of materials. What kind of materials are the sustainable materials? Are the reusable materials, recyclable materials, and things like that. So, so then, then there's a whole lot of things which can take place in that sustainability factor. Right? So sustainability in today has become a big word. But I think Indian designs have always been very sustainable. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so my next question is, since having designed so many projects, can you please mention some steel projects designed by you, bring close to your hand? Well, I mean, as far as industries are concerned, they are not really great architectural designs, but they are more functional designs. You see, we did a lot of innovations in uh, use of steel and you know, steel structures at that time. And we did some very uh, complicated steel structures also and very I well, we our company even designed a chimney also. So otherwise normally most architects don't design chimneys, but we did that also. So that is one, but then one of the most recent projects which I have been involved in, which was a very challenging project for us, was to complete a assignment from CPWD. Uh, it was somewhere remotely connected to Central Vista project, but it was to create some office accommodation for uh, the government which was roughly about, more than about 10 lakhs square feet and it was to be finished in 10 months from foundation stage to furnishing. I mean, we are supposed to hand over a finished air-conditioned building with furniture in 10 months time. And uh, we were uh, engaged by a construction company of that project, Alvolia Construction. And I think, uh, I mean, the structure is complete, the finishing is going on, I think we should be because of the COVID, it got delayed. But then whatever time we started when, then I think we should be able to complete, maybe maybe one month plus or minus. But that was a very challenging project. There were seven buildings into it, and uh, now I think the finishing has got started on all the buildings, even the external development and things. So that was a very challenging and a very good project is going to come. It, it may be a landmark project for our company also. So, sir, uh, since the new normal is a thing today, so what, how do you think this will benefit the industry at large, the new normal? So, I mean, the industry is going to get benefited. I think they have to be a little bit more competitive as far as the execution cost is concerned. But otherwise, I think uh, with the use of new technology and new materials, new design, everything, steel has a lot of, you know, good potential because of the flexibility of design. Even for earthquake structures also, steel can be very good. Uh, and it, it can release really, with all that bracing and whatever is possible in that is not available in concrete. So I think that way steel, I mean, wonders can be done. You see all these airports and all that, those kind of steel structures which they are now coming up, one could not have imagined a lot of tubular structure which has come in, a lot of Great structures and I think there's, there's a lot of whole, whole lot of scope is there. Otherwise, all these large span structures which we are doing today would not have been possible. Next question is what or who has been your biggest influence in your work? Influence to me, something like that. I can't really say that. 
But then, yes, every project has its own challenges, its own set of uh, issues with that. So that how you solve them, work it out around that. And we do a lot of work for builders. So I mean, builders, uh, you have to be very competitive in terms of getting what kind of areas you can get, what kind of cost uh, cutting you can do, in, and still deliver a project in time with good specification or whatever I thought of earlier. So that is what influences your work quite a lot. Great. Last question is, sir. Uh, what is your ultimate goal when it comes to work, and what do we, what do you want to be remembered? Remembered for? I am. I'm not so much concerned that I should be remembered after. Me. Well, I'm not there. My structure will speak for that. I don't need to. I mean, I mean, a lot of good architecture we want to create. That's our aim, so that people can enjoy those spaces, all the public spaces, all the private spaces, whatever they want to use. They should be. I mean, I don't need to remember me, but they should be able to enjoy that. That's my aim. That's great, sir. Thank you so much for your time.